Eleven years ago, Rosemary Kleiman lost her husband, Kirby. I got a call from my son one day. I was driving and he said, Mom, Dad's not here. I said, don't worry, he's probably at the casino or at the dog track. No, Mom, Dad's gone. I said, I told you, he's up in Wisconsin. Then he said, Mom, pull your car over and turn it off. So I pulled over, turned my car off, and he said, Mom, Dad is dead. And it hit me hard, and it still does now. About a month after her husband's death, Kleiman began attending the Widows and Widowers Support Group, which meets every week. We're going to start today to find out if anybody's had anything that they want to discuss with the group. Dealing with the stress that comes with being alone. Lonely is the, is the enemy. No question about it. Loneliness. Yes. Kleiman says it never gets easier. With the help of the support group, she says it's helped her open up to others who can understand. You kind of understand that you're not by yourself. There are other people out there who might not have gone through exactly how you went through it, but we've all lost a spouse. And we need somebody to talk to and go to group and just kind of carry on the memories of your spouses. I'll have times like right now where I feel really good and I wake up and I'm not crying and I'm not feeling like what's the point of getting out of bed and then something will snap and I don't always know what brings it on but I'm back in the hole again and um, struggling and um, if anyone has any magic uh, cures for this I'd love to There is no magic bullet. There is no timeline for grieving. For more than 100 people who attend these meetings, it's an opportunity to be vulnerable in a comfortable environment with the goal of regaining joy in their lives. Ivan Rodriguez, KGA 9, on your side.